What's up, man? I had a feeling that was you. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm out here, uh, actually in Hollywood, supporting the homie uh, Chemo's album release. I just took a minute to walk out for my drink and shit. Say what's up. How you been though? Man, I've been real good. How you been, man? I see you doing your thing, man. Got the new album dropping and everything. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, trying to continually, continually build momentum and and keep grinding and pushing, you know, because this shit is. LA is extremely cutthroat. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's all right, though, man. You you got one up on a lot of them. Don't even trip, man. You keep doing I your thing. That. Man, I like the new tracks, man. The ones you sent me was real tight. You know what I'm saying? I have to be honest. I <laughs> when I put on a uh, what was it? Aggravated assault. Yeah. I just thought to myself. I said, "Yep, that's the pause one I remember from from last year when I had him on." And yeah, I listen to man, and and you touched on all the subjects, homie. You you got a wide variety of talent, man. I appreciate that. I try to, I really, I just try to be a voice for for a lot of the cats that that don't have an opportunity to really, you know, express their frustration and anger with you know a lot of the bullshit that goes on in the game. Yeah. Hey I man, mean, do me a I, favor, real quick, because I know it's been a minute. I'm sorry, dog. I know I cut you off. I apologize. You want you want to go ahead and finish that? No, no, go ahead, though. Oh, okay, good looking, good looking. I want, it's been a minute since we had you on. I know some of the listeners probably know about you. We got a lot of new listeners. Give them like, you know what I'm saying? Let them know about Pause One, who you are, where you're coming from, so when you're speaking with that voice, they know that that's really the eyes of what you've seen. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm out here in Hollywood. I'm repping L.A. My name is Pause One. been doing hip-hop for about 10 years. I uh, got a couple prison terms under my belt, unfortunately. You know, I don't really condone it, you know what I mean? I don't try to promote that shit, but, you know, I've been doing my thing for a while now. Uh, trying to grind in L.A., which is actually one of the entertainment capitals. I'm sure a lot of people know that here, Atlanta, New York. So coming from here, growing up here, and trying to do hip-hop here and, and get exposure and blow up is is uh you know we're crabs in a bucket out here so you got to be extremely sharp with everything you do you got to have your hustle game real real tight you got to have the connection you got to be good on your word but most importantly you got to make good music you know That's it's right. cookie cutter formula a lot of that shit i mean it's it's temporary it's microwavable shit and you know just like that it's only good for so long till you want a real meal but um I'm basically just a voice for, I know I know it's been said before, but I'm basically just a voice for those who can't speak. And, you know, coming from where I'm from, Los Angeles, Compton, California, Long Beach, Norwalk, I lived all over this motherfucker. I just rep for everybody that's out there that's, you know, going through real life. I mean, everybody likes to drink, party, and fuck, and everything else, and that's cool. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But at the same time, like, there's real shit going on. Like, you got a mailbox full of bills. I mean, that shit you're in the negative so you gotta find a way out that hole so that's fine. That's I, right. just gotta, that's I just gotta I just gotta be a, be a voice to make good music yeah and you do that homie you make you make good music man who um are you still messing with the same camp I know you got some new producers you know from what I saw on the last one but is your camp pretty much the same base um uh, well actually I have I have a, I have a, a a solid foundation of producers that I work with and I'm, I'm always open to work with new cats because I don't want to, I don't want to get redundant and, and have the same producers make the same type of beats, and it'll just, it'll get old real quick. So, and I like to give a lot of cats that don't have opportunities to be heard that make beats a chance to get on an album or a mixtape that I'm doing, so they can get build their, you know, their name, their resume, and, and do their thing on the side too. But uh, on the last project I pushed, which was uh, Hired to Kill Volume Two, I got the homie G Production. Shout out to G. Uh, the homie Cadence is on there. I got heavyweight Rick, so my homie Alex, uh, I reached out to a lot of different people and, and everybody that pretty much, you know, submitted beats I used, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm working with a variety of different people because, you know, I'm from the West, but I like, I like some Southern hip hop, I like some, you know, East Coast hip hop, I just, you know, Midwest, whatever it is, so I try to implement all the flavors in what I do and I don't want to stick to one specific genre and get boxed in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, for real. That's, and that's what's up, because a lot of cats do that. They, you know, they, their style is their style, and, and uh, they just, they get stuck there. And, and it's like you said, it's microwavable.